Hello and welcome live from the Zero Project Conference 2022 at the Vienna International Center. My name is Anna Königseder and I'm the business sector manager within the Zero Project team. And so it is not only the third day of the conference, but also the last day of a full week uh, for the participants of the Discover Vienna Zero Barriers program who have joined me here today for this fireside talk. And they will give um, this program has been organized in cooperation with the Vienna Business Agency and the participants today have the opportunity to present themselves, to talk a little bit about their project, but also give us some feedback about their week. So, uh, hello Fiona, welcome. Perhaps you would like to start to present yourself. Okay, um, I'm Fiona from Blue Badge Style, which is a UK business and our aim is to get all venues to display accessibility information for multiple disabilities on their websites. An easy job, you think, but not really. Um, trying to encourage venues to do that is really, really difficult. And we have a solution that's very easy to implement and very low cost. Um, Zero Project gave us an award because of that, which I'm very, very grateful for because it, it really puts us in the spotlight for once. Um, and my week here, uh, we had terrible gales in England and we, I couldn't get here for two days, but I wasn't gonna let that put me off. I got here and I've really enjoyed it. It's been very good hearing about all the other innovations. Thanks a lot, Fiona, and we really thanks a lot also for putting all this effort into coming to us. We're very happy that you joined us in person this yeah. week. Thank you. <laughs> thanks Thank a lot. You. And uh, Ilana, would you like to go next, please? Sure, wonderful. Thank you for having us. Um, my name is Ilana Mushkin. I'm from Israel. I'm here with two hats. First of all, I came as part of a team that started a Hack Autism. Uh, it's a program that we've been running for three years to hack solutions for people on the autism spectrum and their families. And I came also as the CEO and founder of my startup called Ta'al. And we developed a platform called Ta'al Work which enables or assists in um, the employment of people with cognitive disabilities, whether it's people with autism or intellectual disabilities or uh, even emotional disabilities. Our platform has an um, uh, app that's for the workers themselves. It's adapted and personalized for their specific cognitive capabilities. And it also has a, we also have a platform for employers whereby they can actually upload all the tasks and jobs in their workplace and they become accessible via the app to the workers and again adapted to their specific capabilities and um, potential. Thank you for everything you've done for us this week. Thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah, next to me is Lorenzo. So would you like to go next? Yeah. Give it up. Hi, I'm Lorenzo Di Ciaccio, uh, CEO and co-founder of Pedius, an app that allows deaf and hard of hearing people to make a phone calls. So it's a pleasure being in here in Vienna, we start traveling again, and of course connect and meeting a lot of other companies that are focusing on disability. What we came here to find new cooperation because what we do is pro using artificial intelligence to produce automated caption, and those captions may be useful for the deaf in education, but also for people with autism and other kind of disabilities. It's good to see this melting pot of technologies and different approach to uh, fight for the same, mm, the same scope, so the accessibility and the reduced inequality. And that's I'm very proud to be here and start traveling again in this wonderful place. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And Miri, we're also very curious to hear about your project and how you experienced this this week. Thank you, Anna. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Miri Berger. I'm the CEO of Six Degrees, also from Israel. Um, what we do is we've created a technology that translates human emotion into control over smart devices, basically connecting the physical and the digital world for starting out with people who have lost use of their hands or fine motor skills because of injury, uh, paralysis, stroke, and many other factors. And we also uh, put our focus into um, on one side enabling people to go back to employment and digital access and on the other um, allowing people the independence to track their uh, changes of motion, uh, the range, the ability and speed. We were fortunate enough to uh, join this wonderful expedition to Vienna and found it to be 
a wonderful melting pot, uh, as mentioned, from not only people of the local businesses, but also people from all over the world, uh, Chile, Brazil, um, United States, and many more. Uh, and also, uh, I find the venue to be very um, appropriate with uh, the targets of uh, finding collaborations, redu uh, increasing quality, and promoting health um, innovation around the world. I'm really happy uh, to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Miri. Uh, and next to me, uh, Yuri has joined uh, us here on stage. And uh, please tell us a little bit about your project and uh, what you liked uh, during during this uh, program this week. Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Yuri Tselikov. I'm from Israel. I'm a CEO and co-founder of uh, BeePulse, which is an autism treatment platform. I'm a father to a special child, a daughter that faced uh, difficulties with the medical system in order to get, to get her assessment and, and treatment. And we started this project in order to empower specialists and uh, parents with autistic children. Uh, so they will have the option to assess the children and uh, will get a customized treatment plan and will be able to perform those therapies through our app and get follow up on it. Uh, we are very honored to be here. Thank you for uh, um, hosting us. Uh, it was a great hospitality from a business uh, agency and also for, uh, from the Zero Project. Thank you. Thank you. We're very happy to meet you in person here in Vienna. And next to me, uh, Fascino from App and Sound Companion. So uh, please uh, present yourself and tell us a little bit about your project and also about uh, how, you, how you spent this last week here in Vienna. Good morning. My name is Faustino Cuadrado. I'm from Spain. I'm the CEO of uh, Uptown, and we were we felt very proud and we were very happy because uh, we were awarded by Zero Project. But our happiness was even bigger when we were invited by Vienna Business Agency to uh, to stay when we here in Vienna for discovering the Vienna ecosystem. It has been a really it's been because we are haven't ended yet uh, the, this experience, a great experience. We met uh, several companies. We have already planned many other, many other uh, uh, meetings and, and also to share the time with our colleagues is a great experience. We have developed, uh, we are commercializing a system for helping people with any kind of disabilities to use public transportation in a secure manner by having remote capabilities, uh, functionalities, and, and also customizing the trips. So we, we are having, let's say, a lot of success, and we are having a lot of contacts, and most of them are coming from Vienna Business Agency. So thank you very much for your invitation and for the work you have done. <laughs> That's all. Thank you, Fastino. Kearns Lane from Be My Eyes. So um, you're very curious, of course, to also hear about your project and uh, how your uh, week uh, was going. And I think you had a very special week. You were also presenting a Life at the Parliament event on Tuesday. I think it's been nice to hear some words on that. Yes, uh, thank you, Anna. Um, so my name is Kearns Lane. I am the business development manager for Be My Eyes. Uh, Be My Eyes is a free mobile app um, that supports people who are blind or have a visual impairment uh, to reach sighted assistance, uh, whether that's a, a volunteer or um, a company representative. Um, so we are, I think we're probably the wide, most widely used um, app of this sort uh, in the world. And um, we're really honored to, to be here in Vienna this week. Uh, we did have a chance to speak in front of the parliament, uh, which was a huge opportunity for us to spread the message. And on top of that, it's been some great uh, networking opportunities here throughout the week. Um, had beautiful weather, and uh, everyone has just been lovely. So it's been great to be a part of this. Thanks a lot, Kens. And last, last but not least, Esther. Hang on. So tell us a little bit about your project and, and how, you, how you enjoyed the, this last uh, week in Vienna. Thank you. I'm Esther Garcia. I'm the CEO and the co-founder of a uh, Spanish company, Eneso. Uh, we, we created a, a software for, uh, that allow people with spe speech impediments or with, with uh, no language uh, to express themselves and communicate with others. Uh, 
for example, is very useful for people with autism, cerebral palsy, uh, brain damage, or, or other, other kind of disabilities. They can build their own communication boards uh, using pictograms, text, um, photos, and uh, take them with, uh, with them to, on, on their mobile phones or, or tablets. We have uh, developed also a, a innovative technology to create, uh, to build uh, uh, multisensory rooms. These rooms are, are designed for, for people with a severe uh, disability. Uh, and this space uses uh, uh, music, aroma, uh, video, um, and, and other, other stimuli to create immersive, immersive experience for them. Uh, Discover Vienna uh, was a great experience for us. We, we have the opportunity of learn about a lot of the ecosystem. And we made a very good connection to, to, to do uh, future collaborations. So thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Esther. It was a pleasure to have you here this week. So thanks a lot to all the participants of the Vienna Discover Zero Barriers program. It was really nice to spend some time with you this week. And a special thanks to the Vienna Business Agency who organized uh, this, um, this whole uh, full week program. Special thanks to Silvia Göttinger, to Dudu Genz, and also Georg Sedelbauer. We're very happy with, uh, to, with this cooperation and we're really very much looking forward to our next joint programs. And I think I can already pass over to uh, Petra, who will do a short summary of this fireside talk. So many people, so many organizations participated in Discover Vienna, together with the Vienna Business Agency. Um, we heard about a uh, blue badge style, um, a program making uh, internet more accessible, easy to install and to use. TAL, uh, it's a platform for people with disabilities, also from the autism spectrum and other uh, disabilities, but also for employers. And it's an application where they can come together. Um, six degrees, it's transforming human emotions. So um, it uh, helps to transform communication styles. Then we also have Pedios, uh, an automated captioning system. So it helps people who are deaf or hard of hearing. Um, be pause for parents and children, um, or parents of children with, uh, within the autism spectrum. And um, App and Town from Spain. And Eneso, where we have, um, we give uh, words to people who don't have language, but it's including all senses. I also heard something like smell and um, all kinds of things. And yeah, uh, Be My Eyes, an application that can be used by a seeing person helping a blind person to see. I hope I didn't forget anyone. It was a lot of um, participants. I'm so thrilled to see you all here. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Petra. So thanks uh, to everyone for joining today. And uh, yes, hello from the Zero Project Conference 2022. And uh, all of you have a nice afternoon and a nice weekend. <laughs> Goodbye.